Reiner Hidalgo is a physics major at Borough Manhattan Community College. It was in high school when he discovered his love for the universe and beyond. And for me, you know, learning about the universe and, you know, our place within it was always something that sort of like called, that just caught my attention. What makes the Brooklyn College student such an anomaly, he's pursuing a career in a field where Latinos are extremely underrepresented. It's just natural for you to think, man, like there's not a lot of Dominicans, not a lot of Latinos in this field. Maybe I should have stuck with baseball. Like those like doubt that you have in your head. According to the American Institute of Physics, African American and Latino students represent just under 6% of PhDs earned in physics in the United States, while their white counterparts account for 87% of those university degrees. Yes. Tim Paglione, a professor and chair of the Department of Earth and Physical Sciences at your college, is part of a team at City University of New York aiming to disrupt the current standard. It's a cultural problem and it stems from, as far as the studies show, where people start to leave and start to lose interest in these fields. It starts as early as middle school. Using the melting pot that is New York City, CUNY Astro, the school's astrophysics and astronomy research department, is actively recruiting students from backgrounds that wouldn't regularly be exposed to the field. Students like Asma Il Said, an aspiring astrophysics professor currently in her senior year. It's hard because I don't see people like me around me, but it's it's not a, like a, it's a good scary. It's not a bad scary. Making the field inclusive is a long-term goal for CUNY's faculty, giving access and sparking interest in the universe around us. Science is open to everybody. You know, the universe doesn't have its secrets locked away. It's there for anybody to to get. On the Upper West Side, I'm Andrew Ramos. Fix 11 News.